Today, we'll be going through five ways that you can use Numicon in the classroom and at home. But first, what is Numicon? Numicon is a learning tool that can be used to support maths learning. It's used across early years, Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2, and it can be particularly useful when you're teaching children with learning disabilities. And we talked a little bit about this in our video all about supporting children with Down syndrome, which you can find a link to that in the corner or in the description. Each Numicon shape represents a different number from 1 to 10, and each one is a different shape and colour. This helps children to differentiate between different values at a glance. Representing numbers as physical items is great for young learners who might struggle with abstract concepts. Numicon enables children to hold, see and describe the shapes and numbers. This is why Numicon can help a lot when supporting children with learning difficulties who may struggle with their working memory. Numicon can be used for lots of different maths topics like addition and subtraction, multiplication and times tables, place value, part whole activities and more. So let's get started. For younger children, there are lots of activities that you can do to help them get used to using Numicon shapes and understanding the different values. Give children shape matching activities so that they can get used to playing with the different Numicon shapes. This can also help them with their fine motor and visual skills. Having posters and playmats around the classroom can help learners to remember what number each shape represents, giving them a visual reminder. You could play games with the whole class or in groups. One Twinkle teacher would pile Numicon in the centre of the group table and call out the different numbers. Then children had to pick out the right shape. You could also do this by putting the shapes in a feely bag and asking the children to find the right shape by feeling and imagining what it looks like. Once children have an understanding of what the different Numicon shapes represent, they can start to apply this knowledge to different concepts such as number bonds, addition and subtraction. When talking about addition, get the children to combine the shapes to make a new number. If we combine this two shape with one, we get a three shape. There are lots of activities to support addition to 10 and beyond. Let's take a look at this number bonds to 10 activity. In this activity, children can combine the Numicon shapes to figure out which is the missing number. For subtraction, we take the bigger number, for example 8, and place the smaller number on top. We can see the difference between the two shapes, and we can see what shape matches that. If it makes it easier, children could cover the area with their hands to see the shape that is left over. This could be completed up to 10 or higher depending on the level of the children. Having multiple versions of the same shape helps a lot with multiplication and times tables. Take this two shape for example. If I have three lots of two shapes and combine them, I get a six. So two times three is six. You could ask children to build shapes out of the same type of Numicon shape. I like to picture the shapes as city buildings with the peg holes as windows. How many four shapes does it take to make this eight shape building? You can also ask them to see what other kinds of shapes make up the buildings, challenging them to only use one type of shape. We can also use Numicon to teach fractions. Using physical objects when teaching fractions is useful as it helps children to visualise a whole and a part of the fraction. For these exercises, it's important for children to understand that the shape on top is the smaller number, the numerator, and the shape on the bottom goes on the bottom of the fraction, the denominator. To help, leave posters and playmats with fractions visualised as Numicon shapes around your classroom for learners to reference if they need help. These coloured pegs are really useful for showing fractions as well, as they fit into the holes in the Numicon shapes. Fraction matching games would work great for this. Put a fraction on the board and challenge children to quickly make that fraction out of Numicon. Numicon helps to make abstract numbers real and physical, but we can also tie these to other real objects, such as pieces of fruit or money. One activity that a Twinkle teacher recommends is taping different value coins to the Numicon shapes to have them represent the different amounts. 
Children can use these in shopping roleplay activities to help them understand the different values of coins. We can use this to talk about addition, subtraction and multiplication. We hope you found this helpful. If you use Numicon in your classroom or at home, let us know what your favourite activities are in the comments.